Hey, Sycamore District, I know you're here at your virtual camp out tonight. That probably means you're practicing good social distancing and washing your hands an awful lot. Well, I'm here to tie some knots with you, so let's go. The first knot you're going to tie is called the square knot. This is what the square knot will look like when you're finished. To tie the square knot, you start with two ends of the rope, and you very easily go right, over left, and tie an overhand knot. Then you go left, over right, and tie another overhand knot. When you're done, you should be able to move the knot like this, and that's how you know that it's a square knot. A square knot's used for joining two ends of a rope together. The next knot we're going to tie is called a sheet bend. A sheet bend is used for joining two ropes together when the two ropes are different diameters. In this example, you can see that we took a thicker rope and tied it together with a shorter rope. If we try to join these two together with a square knot, the knot would slip very easily. Here, I'll show you. Right over left, left over right. That's great. We can, oh, a sheet bend is designed to uh, take two ends of a rope and tie them together when they are different diameters. So here we have two different ropes. You have a thick rope and a thin rope. The first thing you're going to do is take the thick rope and tie a, make a bend. Then you'll take the thin rope, come up through the hole, go around the back, and then up underneath itself. The next thing I'm going to do is called dressing the knot, which is really just snugging the knot up really well. Now that the knot is dressed, if I pull on it, it stays nice and steady. The next knot is a sliding knot. It's called two half hitches. You can use this to tie a rope around a pole or a branch or a, a, a log. Um, later on, I'll show you the top line hitch. So for two half hitches, what you'll do is you'll, you'll just use one end of the rope, you'll go around, you'll make a basically like an overhand knot, but instead of tying it tight like that, you'll bring it back on itself like this. And then you'll see that I went over the rope the first time, we'll go over the rope again, and up through the middle. So two half hitches looks like that, and then you can see that the knot will slide a little bit. You know it's a two half hitch if when you look at the side, it goes in one side and then comes out kind of the other side. And that knot will slide on you and that's okay. The big brother to two half hitches is called a taut line hitch. Now taut line hitches are great because when you tie them, they will stay in place. They won't slide on you. A lot of people use these to tie their uh, tent guy lines to, to stakes, to tent stakes, and it'll stay taut in the middle of the night so your tent doesn't fall down on you. So just like the two half hitches, what we'll do is we'll start with the rope, go around your pole or your tent stake, and then from there, just like two half hitches, we'll go across and we'll go around once, go around twice, so we'll do it twice around, up underneath, the, 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 through the hole, and then keep going around the, the rope the same way. And then you'll do it once down here, sort of like we did with the two half hitches. So from there, you'll see that the rope, and if I dress the knot, this is nylon rope, so it's probably gonna slide a little bit on me, but let's see. Eh, pretty good. And that's a taut line hitch. The next knot I'm going to show you is called a clove hitch. This is a knot that will tie around a pole and keep one end of the rope tight. So what you do is you go around like this and make an X. So you see the X there? And then from there, you'll come up behind and tuck this guy right in that first hole that you made. And that, my friends, is a clove hitch. Now there are all sorts of books about knots that tell you how to tie all kinds of different things. The thing I would start with, though, is just your Boy Scout handbook. It probably looks something like this. Well, maybe not exactly like this. This is mine. So in here, there's an overview of all kinds of different knots, lashings, and lots of great things that you can tie. 
So I still use this when I go back just to make sure that I'm tying the knots just right.